Hello my fellow smug ones. Well, this is really gonna annoy my girlfriend. <laughs> Let's begin. Okay, this story is from The Sun and it says, Simon Cowell is stepping back from TV to spend more time with his family, The Sun can reveal. The superstar is scaling back his on-screen presence after two decades as one of the biggest faces on British and American television. But hang on, has he actually got a brand new show literally about to come out? I'm guessing he obviously must have quite a lot of faith in it, especially if he doesn't even want to do a single episode. Maybe about as much as Andrew Neil had in GB News, which obviously he decided to step down from recently. Anyway, Simon Cowell will be replaced by Gary Barlow for his widely hyped brand new ITV show, Walk the Line. The 62-year-old star will be heavily involved off-air as executive producer, rather than appear on screen as obviously originally planned. Personally though, I don't really think that Gary Barlow really did that much for The X Factor when he was on it. I mean, yes, yeah, okay, he's obviously from Take That, so a lot of girls probably obviously wanted to throw their knickers at him, but it just sort of came across, at times, as if he was trying to be Simon Cowell with some of his observations, or put-downs, as they otherwise may be known as. Anyway, 15 months on from having a crucial back surgery following a horror accident on an electric bike last year, the media mogul now wants to devote more time to his partner Lauren and son Eric. And to be honest, I actually forgot about that. So yes, any accident, serious or otherwise, can have a tendency to put things in a bit of perspective, can't it? And obviously with all the money he probably has in the bank, then he more than likely doesn't even need to work at all, does he? Anyway, last night Simon said, this is a situation where I've decided that it's right for me to focus on my role as creator and producer as we build up to the hugely exciting, not really maybe, launch. Gary's musical pedigree is second to none and we have known each other for a long time now so I'm delighted that he is picking up the baton for me on for the first series of Walk the Line and I know he will do a fantastic job. Personally, myself, I think Zippy from Rainbow would be a much better choice. But, you know, who knows, I could be wrong, but let's hope so anyway, because otherwise your brand new show might flop faster than an audience with Joe Brand, Simon. YouTube's algorithm thinks you'd like to see one of these videos next, so let me know if it's right.